and welcome back to our Burn YouTube up channel Nelly. and for today's video we're going to discuss the different cycle of accounting so accounting has eight cycle so one essential part of running a small business is managing your internal accounting cycle and bookkeeping as well creating clear picture of your company's financial health can be daunting but an Understanding of accounting cycle with easy to use accounting tools can help you prepare and continue doing what you love. So let's start. So step number one in accounting class is the so-called identifying transactions. So how to identify transactions? The first step in accounting cycle is to identify your business transactions. So what are these transactions? such as vendor payments, your sales, and purchases. Usually, bookkeepers or accountants are responsible for recording these transactions during the accounting cycle. Important information to identify includes the transaction dates, the product prices, and of course, the amount paid. So there are three important information to identify. For example, a marina that sells both will need to keep track on each transaction. They make true purchases of equipment, parts of services rendered over accounting period. They will also want to note important information to make categorizing and following steps easier. Step number two in accounting cycle is the so-called record the transactions. The step is to record this transaction in a journal or accounting software. For a more efficient method, storing information is a very crucial part of accounting process and can happen either at the end, at the point of sale during the first step or the second step on its own. There are a few things to remember when recording transactions. The first one is maintain chronological order of transaction chronological meaning to arrange the transaction uh, alphabetically then ensure credits and debit balance each other out when using double entry accounting and including important notes for accountant for easier reconciliation you can do this step manually, but businesses can use also accounting software for simpler storage recall and organization of transactions. Then, we have our step number three, post transaction to general ledger. So once you record everything and approve it, the next step is to post the transaction to the ledger, general ledger. Think of the uh, general ledger is a summary sheets where all transactions live within categories. The general ledger class is the master list of any transactions information in journals divided into accounts. It lets you track your business finances and understand how much cash you have available. Then step number four create the trial balance so this is the time that you're going to make your trial balance so in making trial balance for the fourth step in the accounting cycle you'll need to balance transactions at the end of the accounting period so both debit and credit will balance we can vary monthly quarterly or annually depending on the company well some company class uh, they have their trial balance every month so that is a cold monthly but if the company requires you to prepare your trial balance at the end of the year that is called annually the trial balance provides this company with insights into the balances of the account and discover any discrepancies since no accounting method is seamless you might find discrepancies when balancing your books that's normal so that's why you need to do the trial balance to see if there are discrepancies in your transaction. So once you correct the transaction, 
you're going to proceed to the next step which is analyze the worksheets step number five analyze the worksheets this uh, step is worksheet analysis so this is very crucial because you're going to go deeper with your transaction and analyze everything which can be complex at the first yeah at the first maybe this is very complex but once you are already mastered and you are keep doing this you will be immune of doing the worksheets you also use the worksheet to balance the debits and credits when you have credits and debits from your transaction and don't balance you have to re review the entries and adjust accordingly so that's step number five so if you cannot balance again you are going to go back from the first then try to see what are those discrepancies that you need to adjust because the next step is adjust journal entries so step number six the final step before you create your financial statement is making adjustment to account for any corrections for accrual or deferrals an example of an adjustment might be a salary or bill you paid later in accounting period since it was recorded as accounts payable when the cost originally occurred it requires adjustment to remove the charge yes that is one of the example how to adjust your journal entries step number seven create financial statement this is the time that you are going to prepare now your uh, financial statement so in preparing the financial statement the step is to generate financial statement including the balance sheets income statement and cash flow statement from the trial balance so there are three uh, informations that we need to prepare a statement number one is the income statement the second one is the cash flow statement and of course we have the balance sheets so from from there we're going to see our finances uh, how far we go and what are the losses or we gain profit from our business here's brief explanation it's financial statement so in accounting cycle there are three again financial statement the balance sheet so the balance sheet is the summary summarize your business financial positions your income statement shows your business profit and losses over the time so a statement of cash flow these are the reports can inflows and outflows over the time so inflows papasok outflows is lalabas na mga transactions so finally we're going before we're going to step number eight there are many businesses owner focuses on the balance sheet an income statement but the cash flow statement is equal important to help understand how your net income and the activity in the cash account compare so step number eight so when you're done the financial uh, statement it's time to close the books so most accountant will confirm that closing the books is extremely satisfying if they're going to do the balance this happens at the end of each accounting period so signify that the next accounting cycle can begin then we begin the accounting process all over at step number one so again it is a cycle so once you're done closing your book so this is the the next accounting cycle you are going to prepare again from step number one then up to step number step number eight so that is all about the accounting cycles again do not forget that there are eight steps in accounting cycle the first one is identify your transactions number two you have to prepare your the record record the transaction the number three post transaction to ledger number four is to create the trial balance the number five is analyze the worksheets the number six adjusted journal entries number seven you have to create financial statements 
and of course number eight you have to close your book so that's it for today class if you have some question please don't hesitate to comment down on the comment section please let me know who are watching on my video especially to my students in accounting please write your name and your section for me to identify that you are reviewing our lessons for me uh, to understand who are those students are interested to my subjects so and before i forget please don't hesitate to don't forget to follow my page or my youtube channel presentation the textbook.tv for you to notify every now and then that i have a new video for accounting so that's it for today this has been your teacher mr malang bernabe thank you for watching